Hi there, this is Vadim. As you might be well aware, we are always on the lookout and trying to help talented YouTube creators. And today, I would like to introduce you to Gaspar Kamensek. He is a Microsoft Excel MVP from Slovenia, and he will share with you cool new capabilities of Microsoft Excel. If you like the content, please make sure to check out his YouTube channel and his new training course. All links are in the description of this video. Let's go ahead and get started. Hello, my name is Gaspar Kamasek. I'm an Excel MVP from Slovenia. And today I want to talk to you about text to columns, but not as a command, although we will mention it. I want to talk about text to columns in general. So how do you take the text in one cell and split it up into several, right? That's the idea. Now we're going to go from bizarre to functions to flash fill to text to columns to all the way to power query, which will be the ultimate uh, solution in this case. So first the bizarre one and the bizarre one is home justify and ju so fill and justify. Now this one, if you've never seen this, it's just going to shock you. We have text that's split up by spaces and we have all this text in B4, right? So here's what I want to do is I want to take this text and I want to say fill justify. And I only gave it this much space. So what it did is within that space, it needed to separate that into separate cells. If I gave it this much space, it would justify within those three columns. And this is what I would get. Or I could give it this much space, fill, justify, and it's all a single cell again. Now, this is more or less a party trick, but sometimes it does come in handy. I actually used it a couple of times in my life. Now let's go for the serious solution. So the first one would be, I have names and last names or full names. And what I want to do is separate them, right? So first let's do that by functions. So the first function I'm going to use, so in Excel text functions would be your left, right, mid, len, find, trim, uh, clean text and, you know, concatenate and text join and several of them. But over here, we're mostly going to use left. So it's going to be left of this with just one add in, because if I would just say four here, it would work for John, but it wouldn't work for any of the others. So what I'm going to say is I want you to find the first space within this name, which is OK. I could just go with this and it would give me John, but it will actually give me John and a space. So I kind of need to get rid of that space. So what I'm going to do is minus one, right? Like this, and this works perfectly. But now I only want the last name. Now that, that one is going to be a bit harder. So I'm going to start off with this. I'm going to say mid, this is the text. And then what I want you to do is to go row of indirect of so one and add the length of this and give me just those separate ones. So this is what I get. More or less, I just separated that full name into separate characters. Okay. Now that has no real value to me because what I need is where are my spaces, right? I'm looking for the last space. And over here, all I have now is false is where there's no space, true where there is a space. I'm going to just turn these into zeros and ones because it's better to calculate with those. And now that I have zeros and ones, now I can take this and just multiply with this. And now I get something interesting. Now I get a bunch of zeros, but then a five and a 13. And what are those? 
those are positions of my spaces within that name. So now that I have this, now I can go, okay, so what is the max of that? And this is exactly what I need because this is my last space. And if I now go, cool, now give me a mid of this where you start at max, but that's the last space. So plus one, and then just give me a hundred characters from there on out. So this is the formula I need. Let me take it out of there. Let me put it in here. And there it is, right? So those are my last names. Now the cool thing about doing it with a formula or, a fu or functions in Excel is if I now go James the second, McCartney 2, it will reflect that because it's dynamic, right? It's formulas. Whereas, here's a much simpler solution. This is flash fill. Now, flash fill, you can just go, so this should say John, and this should say, and he's going to go, I think it should say this, and you're going to go, enter. That is exactly what it should say. And for last names, you're going to go, well, Lennon, S, He's going to say Starkey, you say exactly, and that is it, right? That was way easier than this, but there's, there is something, right? If I now change this into like this, do you see how this still remained the second? It didn't change, right? So that is something to keep in mind. Flash fill, a brilliant thing, but it does not change afterwards because these are just constants they're not formulas they're not functions right okay next up text to columns so d d command in excel right and what we have here is a very interesting thing we have the names then we have some dates and then we have some numbers but the dates are actually the way you would write them in europe day month year Whereas in the US, they would go month, day, year, and the, the numbers, the decimal separator is actually a comma, whereas in the US, it would be a, a dot, and then you would get the comma for the thousand separator. So they're just flipped around. And this is the way you would write numbers in Europe, right? This is the way we write them in Slovenia. So how could you do that? Well, you could just say, okay, I have this, now I want you to data, text to columns. I have delimited text, so next. How is it delimited? Well, it's delimited with a semicolon. Now it recognizes the three columns. Now I say next, and now here's where the magic happens. Now I say, okay, so look, this, this is just text. But this, this is actually a date, and here's what it is. It's day, month, year. And then for the next one, right? Wouldn't it be cool if I could just say, this is a number and get the format? Well, you can sort of do that because over here with advanced, you can say, so look, a decimal separator over here is actually a comma and a thousand separator is actually a full stop. You go, okay, you go finish and there you go. These are my names. These are my dates. Do you see how it's now month, day, year? And these are my numbers. And now they do have the US decimal separator because it recognized what a decimal separator was within my values, right? So brilliant, but not quite brilliant enough. Two problems this has. The first one, well, this, if I wanted to separate this into name surname, which would basically be the last space you cannot say that you can just say text to columns is limited by space and then you get the amount of columns that you get well with power query you could do this and now this is the ultimate right so i have this and now i go data from table range okay it's going to open up perfectly so here's what i get and now the first thing i'm going to do this may surprise you is actually do you see how I have the headers up here, which is makes total sense because it's a, it's a table, right? But I'm gonna 
demote those into the first row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home and then go over here and use headers as first row. And now I'm going to say split column. I want you to split column by delimiter. What is the delimiter? Well, the delimiter is a semicolon. Each occurrence, I go, OK. Here's what I get. Now, at this point, I'm going to put the headers back. And at this point, let's talk about what we have. What we have here, and let me just take that one out also. What we have here is I have the name. I have a date, which is still day, month, year. I have the number which has, you know, wrong delimiters or actually decimal and uh, a thousand. And then I have a very specific column where this is like you would fill out a form and then you have a question that has multiple answers possible. And you see John, let's say this is his favorite Microsoft application. John would say Excel Power BI OneNote. Whereas Ringo would say PowerPoint Word, George would say Outlook, and Paul would say Word, PowerPoint, Outlook. Now, you can't separate those into columns. Those would actually need to be separated into rows. Now, Excel or text to columns can do that. But over here, you can now go and let's just go all out. The first thing I'm going to do, take the name, and I'm going to go split by the limiter. What is the delimiter? It's a space, but I won't only want you to take the last one. OK, and there it is. Name, last name. So even that by itself, a huge you know, upgrade. And the split column, I also want to say this, has by lowercase to uppercase, and it also has by digit to non-digit, which Excel would also need. So text to columns in Excel, but it doesn't have them. OK, with a date. All I need to do is say, so look, the type of this, I want you to use local, so the kind of geographic data by knowing what this is. So this is a date, but it's actually a date like it's written in, and then we find Slovenia. There it is. We go, okay, and there it is. And we're going to do the same with the number. Right? We're going to say, so look, this is actually using locale. So I'm going to tell you where this comes from and I'm going to tell you what it is. So it is a decimal number and it's coming from. And again, we go. Slovenia, where is it over here? And it recognizes it. So that by itself, brilliant. But now let's go to this last one because that's where the biggest brilliance resides. So remember, we want to split by comma, but we want to split to rows. And I'm just going to use the same command, split column by delimiter. Comma is the delimiter. I want you to do it with, for each occurrence, but I want you to do it by rows. I go OK. And now John has three rows, one with Excel, one with Power BI, one with OneNote. And this should flat out, you know, knock you on your <clears throat> brilliant, simply brilliant. Uh, and to finish this off, I just say close and load, load this into Excel. And there it is. Quite brilliant. OK, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in flash fill and some other things that I use in here, there are videos on my channel, it's called Excel Olympics, and you can check out that YouTube channel. Um, and I hope you learned something new. Okay, have a good one.